A Poor Man Sings by Alfred Lichtenstein. Woes were fine times when I still walked in silk socks and wore underpants, sometimes had ten marks to spare in order to hire a woman bored in the day, night after night, I sat in the coffee house. Often I was so sated that I didn't know what to order for myself. After Combat by Alfred Lichtenstein. In the sky the howitzers no longer explode, the cannoneers rest next to their guns, the infantry pitch tents snow and the pale moon slowly rises. On yellow fields and red roses the French are ablaze, ashen pale from death and powder. Among them German medics squad, the day becomes grayer, its sun redder. Field kitchens steam, tarns are put to the torch, broken carts stood at roadsides. Panting cyclists, hot and tent, loiter at the scorched wooden fence, and other lies are already moving from regiment to division. Afternoon, Field and Factory by Alfred Lichtenstein I can no longer find a place for my eyes. I cannot hold my legs together. My heart is hollow. My head is going to burst. Machine is all around. Nothing wants to take shape. My tongue breaks and my mouth twists. In my skull there is neither pleasure nor gold. The sun the buttercup rocks itself on the chimney, its slender stalk. Bad weather by Alfred Lichtenstein A frozen moon stands waxen, white shadows dead face above me and the dull earth. Froze green light like a garment, a wrinkled run on bluish land. But from the edge of a city, like a soft hand without fingers, gently rises, and fearfully threatening like death, dark, nameless. Rising without sound, an empty slow sea swells towards us. At first it was only like a weary moth, which crawled over the last houses. And now it is a black, bleeding hole. It has already buried the city and half a sky. I had I flown. Now it is too late. My head falls into desolate hands. On the horizon an apparition like a shriek announces terror and imminent end. Cloud by Alfred Lichtenstein. A fog has destroyed the world so gently. Bloodless trees dissolve in smoke, and shadows hover where shrieks are heard. Burning beasts evaporate like breath. Captured flies are the gas lanterns, and each flicker still attempting to escape. But to one side, high in the distance, the poisonous moon, the fat fox spiders, lies in wait, smoldering. We, however, love some, suited for death, tremble long, crunching with desert splendor, and silently step wide eyes of misery like spears into the swollen night. Cloudy Evening by Alfred Lichtenstein The sky is swollen with tears and melancholy. Only far off, where its full vapors burst, a green glow pours down. The house's gray grimaces are fiendishly bloated with mist. Yellowish lights are beginning to gleam, as though father of five and children dozen. Painted women are practicing their dances. Grotesque memes start towards the theater. Jokers shriek, fool connoisseurs of men. The day is dead, and the name remains. Powerful men gleam in girls' eyes. A woman yearns for beloved woman. Dreaming by Alfred Lichtenstein Ah, but who wouldn't want to drive a car forever? We burrow our way through heist and woods. We pass by spaces that seem endless. We pass through wind and attack the tones which are speed up. But the odors of the sluggish cities are hateful to us. Ah, we are flying, always alongside death. How we despise and scorn him who sits on our lives. Who lays out grace for us and makes all streets crooked. How we laugh at him. And roads overcome die with us. Whilst we shall car our way through the whole world. Until, on some clear evening, we find the violet ending against the sturdy tree. Evening by Alfred Lichtenstein. Houses stand stiffly next to the fences. Let your eyes, last sparrows, flutter. Blue bottles light on your face. Don't you cue nor feel the eternal melts? The unfeeling one was holds in your head. Look once more at the moon, the mustard pot murderer. Going for a walk by Alfred Lichtenstein. Evening comes with moonshine and silky darkness. The roads become weary. The narrow world widens. Winds of opium move in and out of the field. I widen my eyes like silver wings. I feel as though my body were the whole earth. The city lights up, thousands of street lamps sway. Now the sky also piously enkindles its candlelight, huge above everything my human face wanders. Into the evening, by Alfred Lichtenstein. Out of cooked clothes, priceless things grow. Very tiny things suddenly become important. The sky is green and opaque, down where where the blind hills glide. Tattered trees stagger into the distance, drunken meadows spin in a circle, and all the surfaces become grey and wise. Only villages crouch glowingly, red stars. Invasion by Alfred Lichtenstein Decline already, but it was quick. Hardly a trace of rising. I've grown above the whole world. I've become the complete god and horrible awake. And now I must cast away death, and death is mute, and without images, without redemption. Landscape in the early morning 
by Alfred Lichtenstein. The air is grey. Who knows something good for Zod? Next to an ox grazing on a grown stands an astonished, deeply serious mountaineer. Soon there is a powerful downpour of rain. A young boy who is pissing on a meter will be the source of a small river. What should one do when nature calls? Be natural. Be yourself. A poet roams around in the world, observes for himself the orderly flow of traffic and rejoices about sky, field and dung. And he takes careful notice of everything when he climbs a high mountain which happens to be close by. Lonely Watchman by Alfred Lichtenstein City and by laughter far behind. I am so betrayed and alone. Slowly I move from one leg to the other. Around me strange doors screech. I reach for daggers and gun. If I were only at home with my mother. Love Song by Alfred Lichtenstein Your eyes are bright lands. Your looks are little birds. Handkerchiefs gently waving goodbye. In your smile I rest a fond and bobbing boats. Your little stories are made of silk. I must behold you always. Moonscape by Alfred Lichtenstein The yellow mother's eye burns up where Everywhere a night lies like a blue cloth. There is no question that I am sucking air. I am only a little picture book. Houses capture dreams of motley sleepers, as though the nets and the windows. A utus creep like ladybugs up luminous streets. Morning by Alfred Lichtenstein And all the streets lie smooth and shining there. Only occasionally does a solid citizen hurry along them. A swell girl argues violently with papa. A baker happens to be looking at a lovely sky. The dead sun, white and thick, hangs on the houses. Four white wives screech in front of a bar. The carriage driver falls and breaks his neck, and everything is boringly bright, healthy and clear. A gentleman with wise eyes hovers, confused in the dark. A failing god in this picture what he forgot. Perhaps did not notice, he mutters whiz and wet, dies and laughs, dreams of a stroke paralyzes osteoporosis. My End by Alfred Lichtenstein Half hands hold my fate, where will it sink? My steps are tiny, like woes of a woman. One evening lay waste all dreams. Sleep does not come to me. Now, of course, by Alfred Lichtenstein. Now, of course, I put on my straw hat. Rain has washed the evening blue. Of a world glows. I look up piously, my hands deep in my trousers pockets. And the morning drives me home with screams and stones, half dead, stripped of my skin. Yet I'm ready for the night. I should soon be happy. Street lamps blaze, kitchen maids screech. Peace. By Alfred Lichtenstein. In various circles, a sick fish hoovers in a pond surrounded by grass. A tree leans against the sky, burned and bent. Yes, the family sits at a large table, with a peck with a fork from the plates. Gradually, they become sleepy, heavy, and silent. The sun licks the ground with its hot, poisonous, ferocious mouth, like a dog, a filthy enemy. Bum suddenly collapses without a trace. A coachman looks with concern at a knack, which, torn open, cries in the gutter. Three children stand around in silence. Prayer to people by Alfred Lichtenstein I go through the days like a thief, and no one hears my heart lament to itself. Please have pity. Like me, I hate you. I want to embrace you. Prophecy by Alfred Lichtenstein Some day I have signs of mortal storms coming from the far north. Everywhere is the smell of corpses. A great killing begins. The lump of sky grows dark. Storm death lifts his clawed paws. All the lumps fall down. Mimes burst. Girls explode. Horses devil crash to the ground. Not a fly can escape. And some homosexuals are all out of the beds. The walls of houses develop fissures. Fish rot in the stream. Everything meets its own distinguishing end. Groaning buses step over. Return of a Village Boy by Alfred Lichtenstein in my youth the world was a small pond, grandma and red roof, a lowing of oxen and a clump of trees, and all around the huge green meadow. How lovely was with dreaming into distance, with absolute nothingness as bright air and wind and bird cries and fairy tale books. Far off a fable iron snake whistled. Romantic Journey by Alfred Lichtenstein Thousands of stars twinkle in the gentle sky, the landscape glows. From the distant meadow mute marching men slowly come closer. Only once a young lieutenant, the page boy in love, steps out and stands lost and fought. The baggage train rattles along at the rear, the moon makes everything much stranger. And now and when the drivers cry out, stop. High up on the shakiest munitions track, like a little toad, finally chiseled out of a black wood, hands gently clenched on his back, the rifle gently buckled, a smoking cigar in his crooked mouth, lazy as a monk and needy as a dog, he had pressed drops of varian on his heart in the yellow moon, ridiculously mad Kuno sits. Science by Alfred Lichtenstein 
The hour moves forward, the mole moves out, the moon emerges furiously, the ocean heaves, the child becomes an old man, animals pray and flee, it's getting too hot for the trees, the mind boggles, the street dies, the stinking sun steps, the air becomes scared, the heart breaks, the frightened dog keeps its mouth shut, the sky lies on its wrong side, the tumult is too much for the stars, the carriages take off. Smoke on the Field by Alfred Lichtenstein Lena Levy went out in the evening, mincing a skirt bunched up through the long empty streets of a suburb, and she spoke weeping, aging crazy strange words which the wind tossed so it were popped like pots. They made bloody scratches on trees, and shredded hung on houses, and in these their streets died all alone. Lena Levy went out until all the roofs made her crooked mouth grimace, and her windows and the shadows made faces. They had a completely drunken good time until the houses became helpless, and the mute city passed into the broad fields, and the moon smeared. Little Lena took out of her pocket a box of cigarettes. Weeping took one out and smoked. Summer Evening by Alfred Lichtenstein All things are seamless, as though forgotten, light and dull. On the sacred heights the green sky spills still water on the city. Galaise cobble as lamps shine. Empty bakeries are waiting. People in the street, astonished, stride towards America. A couple red goblin runs up towards the roof, up and down. Little girls fall, sobbing through the poles of streetlights. Sunday Afternoon by Alfred Lichtenstein Packs of houses squat along rotten streets, around whose humble grey sun shines. A perfumed half-crazy little poodle cats exhausted eyes at the big world, casts exhausted eyes at the big world. In a window a boy catches flies, a badly soiled baby gets angry. On the horizon a train moves through windy meadows, slowly paints a long thick stroke. Like typewriters hackney hoofs clatter, a dust-covered noisy athletic club comes along. Brutal shouts stream from bars for coachmen, yet fine belts mix with them. On the fairgrounds where athletic wrestle, everything is dark and indistinct. A barren organ howls and scullery maids sing, a man is smashing a rotting woman. The City by Alfred Lichtenstein A white bird is the big sky, under the cowering city stairs. The houses are half-dead old people, a gaunt carriage horse gapes grumpily. Winds, skinny dogs, run reekily. Their skins squeal on sharp corners. In a street, a crazed man groans, you owe oh, you, if only I could find you. A crowd around him surprised and grins derisively. Three little people play blind man's bluff, and gentle tear stained God lays the grey powdery hands on afternoon over everything. The Concert by Alfred Lichtenstein the naked seats hurken strangely, alarming and quiet, as though there were some danger. Only some are covered with a person. A green girl often looks into a book, and someone else finds a handkerchief, and the boots are distinguishedly encrusted. A sound comes from an old man's open mouth. A young boy looks at a young girl. A boy plays with a button on his trousers. On a podium, an aged body rocks to the rhythm of a serious instrument. On a collar lies a shiny head, scratches and tears. The End by Elfa Lichtenstein like a white fungus, a lump of wood covers the green corpse of a lost world. Frozen rivers form an iron dam which holds together the rotten remains. In a small rainy corner stands the last city in stony patience. A dead skull lies like a prayer slanted on the body, the black penitential bench. The Night by Alfred Lichtenstein Sleepy policemen well under street lights. Broken beggars grumble when they sense people. On some corners powerful street cars stutter, and plush caps drop into the stars. A monger of houses horse hubble back and forth, sadly swinging the right behinds. Much sky lies broken and we stride out things. Whiny cats painfully shriek bright songs. The Operation by Alfred Lichtenstein In the sunlight doctors tear woman apart. Here the open red body capes and heavy blood flows dark wine into a white bowl. One sees very clearly the rose red cyst, lit grey, the limp head hangs down, the hollow mouth rattles, the sharp yellow chin points upward, the room shines cool and friendly, a nurse savors quite a bit of sausage in the background. The Sad Man by Alfred Lichtenstein Now I have no capacity for life. I could be considered foolish. Today I am not going to a restaurant. I am after all this time worried of a waiter who scornfully bring us with a smug grimaces, dark beer and make us so confused that we cannot find our home and we must use the foolish street lights to prop ourselves up with weak hands. Today I have bigger things in mind. I shall find out the meaning of existence, and in the evening I shall do some roller skating or go at some point to temple. The Sick by Alfred Lichtenstein Evening and grief and lamplight bury our death face. We sit at a window and drop out of it. 
Far off they sit squints at a grey house, we scarcely touch our life, and the world is a morphine dream. Blinded by clouds, the sky sinks. The garden expires in dark wind, for watchmen enter, lift us up into bed, inject us with poison, kill the lamp. Curtains hang in front of a night. We disappear gently and slowly. Some groan, but no one speaks. Our buried face sleeps. The Sun by Alfred Lichtenstein Mother, don't hold me. Mother, your cares hurts me. See through my face how I glow and wane. Give the last kiss, let me go. Send a prayer after me, but I broke your life. Mother, forgive me. The World by Alfred Lichtenstein Many days treat upon human animals, in gentle oceans hungry sharks fly. Heads beers glisten in coffee houses, girls scream shred on a man. Thunderstorms come crashing down, forest winds darken, women need prayers and skinny hands, and the Lord God sent an angel. A shred of moonlight shimmers in the sewers, readers of books crouch quietly on their bodies. An evening dips the world in a lick lie, the trunk of a body floats in a windshield, from deep in the brain its eyes sink. Wanderer in the Evening by Alfred Lichtenstein Kuno Korn sings, dusty Sunday lies buried to pieces, Chaired Kuhn is mother's the land. Dissolute longing gaps once again, dreams and tears scream upward. Winter by Alfred Lichtenstein A dog shrieks in misery from a bridge to heaven, which stands like old grey stones upon far off houses, and like a rope made of tar a dead river lies on the snow. Three trees, black frozen flames, make frets at the end of the earth. They pierce with sharp knives and rough air, in which a scrap of bird hangs all alone. A few street lights way towards the city, extinguish candles for a corpse, and a smear of people shrieks together and is soon drowned in a wretched white swamp. Winter Evening by Alfred Lichtenstein Behind yellow windows, shadows drink hot tea. Yearning people sway on a hardened pond, workers find a soft woman's corpse. Glowing blue snows cast a howling darkness. On high poets a scarecrow, implored, hangs. Stars flicker dimly through forest windows, in front of which human bodies move like ghosts. Students carve a frozen girl, a lovely with crystalline winter evening burning. A platino moon and now streams through a gap in the houses. Next to green lanterns under a bridge lies a gypsy woman and plays an instrument.